the body got one. I don't wear panties. What are you doing? What perky today? Hi. It's a bosom. Now, really? Problem. Don't hit my car. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Just worshiping well, today and I'm opening give packages. You peace because I didn't find any old garbage bags because there was no more. There's no need to bring it up. Nothing you say. Oh my god, girl. So ideally I would have showed you how I made this pizza. <laughs> I was so hungry and I didn't feel like taking out the camera, but it's a cauliflower pizza crust that I added pesto to at the bottom. And then What's it? Mixed shredded cheese and then bacon bits and then what? Arugula to it. And this is so, I took a bite. It's so good. You just put it in the oven, baby. And it is so good. Use parchment paper. It's nonstick. Fantastic. Oh, I'm about to eat this right now. It is so good. You know, just share what you want to sell, even for influencers. Um, you know, a lot of them will say, well, let's just take a picture a and post the picture up. And they don't have a caption that's telling someone um, a story behind it. Every time I take a photo, like in that minute, I'm in my notes app in my phone thinking of a story to go with it. If you do it correctly and if you know how to tell a story. And so um, a lot of times people aren't, aren't really struggling on Instagram because they don't know necessarily how to take a photo or create a graphic which, We'll talk about graphics in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the story piece. You can have a decent subpar graphic or decent subpar photo, but if you've got the story to connect with it, more people are going to resonate with that than if you have a stunning photo and you don't post. We're not Beyonce. We can't post photos without a caption and just think people are going to love it. Right, right. And it's funny that you use Beyonce because, you know, a lot of people do use her as an example. Oh, by the way, I'm <clears throat> getting ready to go to an influencer event at Victoria's Secret. I was invited to wait out. My eczema has broken out on my chest. I don't want to use the steroid because, one, steroids shouldn't be used too often anyway. I can use it because I haven't used it in a very long time. I just don't want to use it. I want Ooh, I go gross. I just want to medicate it by just hydrating because my dermatologist told me with my dry skin, eczema, I simply need to be constantly hydrating the dry areas. So constantly hydrating my neck and chest. So I've been doing that for a few days now. I mean, I then went in with Vaseline on top of my lotion. So hence the shine. I like to be shiny. I don't like to look dull at all, ever, anywhere. So that's why my chest looks like this, but I'm enjoying it. I wore this two piece outfit from Shein. Oh, you can't even see it. I wore this the other day, but I didn't really go anywhere like that, like that. So I put it back on, bodysuit is Amazon and I wanted to film today but I'm feeling tired still from the trip you're gonna see this two weeks afterward I think I don't know whatever but I'm still tired from the trip yo like legit I'm like I'm sleepy but the show obviously still must go on so here I am going on with the show and getting ready to go to this event I want to look cute let me put this hair behind me so it's not bothering me and I'm listening to this podcast while I do that. Nothing quite like this. I get a high every time we kiss. So me, Facebook is for our moms and dads. <laughs> Just like scary. And then IG is for me. Okay, in the 30s. TikTok is 20s and 30s. And TikTok is, oh God, 10 year olds, 15 year olds. Like, oh my gosh. Granted, you obviously are going to have a wide array of ages represented on all these platforms i'm referring to where it's most popular what age group is the most drawn to which platform and it obviously has to do with when those platforms came out facebook came out when i was in college hello it's i don't like facebook i used to, I, I used to get so upset the way that the friends i had on facebook a lot of them would use facebook as a diary and they would come on there and they still do it they would come on there and talk about how horrible their life is or whatever they're going through i hate oversharing i hate oversharing I hate oversharing when it's not solicited put it that way i'm not opposed to connecting deeply that is not what i'm saying i like to connect deeply in fact with the right person i don't just 
connect deeply with random people or people I just met. I don't do that, right? Unless it's a safe space, like a Bible study or whatever. You follow me here, okay? I don't just vomit things about me and my life wherever I go. I'm not that person. I'm very observant. Very observant. I need to see what's going on, who's up in here, what they talking about, what's the character looking like, all the above. But uh, Facebook used to annoy me. People just be doing too much. I'm rinsing my sponge, washing my sponge, sponge actually with body, a body, bar, bar soap. Yeah, it just annoys me. Like, do you have people, people who you, what is it? Is it called followers? Is it called friends? Whatever, Facebook friends who do that? That annoys me so much. Oh, did I tell you the Victoria's Secret event is, is for a new bra that they're launching? <clears throat> and I didn't think I was going to get anything from the event. I just, you know, you just invited to go. But I saw <clears throat> another influencer go to the event in a different city. And she got the new bra. So I'm excited about that. My breasts are looking real perky today. Hi. <laughs> What's that about? What you, what you trying to do today? Hold on. Chupaka, could I slow down? It's okay. You doing a whole lot. And I'm editing the... So you can already see it by, by the time you see this, but the Dubai vlog, oh my gosh, or vlogs, uh, because they're they're chopped up because they're, the footage is so much. It's so fun. I loved it. I thank God that I was, that we were able to go. Just such great memories. Wow. Is it the bra or is it my breast today? <laughs> What is happening? Uh, I need a shave. It's the first one. Uh, mm, 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 mm. oh, if there was one thing you could change about social media, what would it be? Um, it would be the just the negative comments. Mm. I am. I have become real. And this is not about her. We talked about this months ago, last year, obviously, where we, and I believe even you, have the ability to go into your settings and block certain words. You can do the same thing here on YouTube. I find that a lot of people aren't using that. Are we sacrificing potential engagement by way of hundreds of comments, by allowing toxic comments to sit under our posts? That is really what it sounds like to me because I'll be following somebody that has millions of followers and then they'll go on this rant on IG stories about how the comments under a certain picture are so rude and so mean and all this. And I'm just thinking, yo, what are you doing? Are you sacrificing engagement just sacrificing your uh, mental health for engagement? I don't understand that and I never will. Go into your settings and you can block keywords. I blocked maybe 60, 100, not 100, maybe like 50, 60 words. So I was telling y'all this months ago in a vlog, I was like, man, I look at my, this is a warm situation, it'll, it'll, it'll all come together. I look at my comments and I'm like, wow, people are so nice to me online. And then I had to remind myself, oh, but I have a lot of words blocked. So whenever people say mean, hateful things, you will see your comment as if you've posted it on my page, but I will never, ever see it because I have those words and phrases blocked. And then every now and then when I catch a word or a phrase that I just hadn't thought of or some people are just really sneaky, sneaky scallywags, I go and I add that. I'm like, oh gosh, thank you for giving me that suggestion. I didn't even think about that. I love it. Let me add this to the blocked list as well. So now you really can't get through, you know? And that's just the way that I play the game. I don't understand. I just, God, it's like dumb to me when people, again, not about her, I'm just commenting in general. I just don't, I'm like, yo, do you not know that this exists? I mean, if you follow the Instagram account, so-and-so, whoever, whomever, they, they told us this like a year ago, over a year ago. Why don't, well, why are people doing it? I don't understand that. I just don't understand that. Running in search of Yo, yo, so I'm done looking good, looking, feeling, looking, feeling, feeling, looking, feeling, looking, feeling good. This is from Shein, like I said. This is an over top thing, bodysuit from... Amazon sandals from Miss Lola. 
random socks, and garbage from my <laughs> braids that I took out yesterday on the floor. But yeah, now, <clears throat> I don't know what fragrance to wear. I wanna smell really good. Should I do Twilly? Ugh. I wanna smell really good. It's really important to smell good at all times. And especially when you're gonna be in an event, like, hello. Oh, you wanna be memorable. Let's do Twilly. I call it Twilly. Oh, Twilly is so good. It has a powdery ginger vibe to it. I love it so much. I'm gonna spray it a lot. Spray your hair too. So when you're going for a hug, your hair smells good too. Not gonna get my skin too much because I broke out. So I got in 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 the bosom. You know, <laughs> just a bosom. Should I wear fake earrings? I kind of do, but I kind of don't. Let me just keep these on. Listen, this JBW watch always has me feeling icy. Wife me, okay? It always has me feeling good, ayy. Like I should, ayy. And then this bracelet from Amazon, come on now. You have to mix the high and the low, hello, duh. Can't have all high, can't have all low either. If you can afford it, obviously. Praise the Lord for his advancement in my life. I'm not gonna wear it because it's a choker. I almost gave this to my mom. She had it on in Dubai and I was like, excuse me, that's mine, like back up. But I don't like chokers on me. I like to elongate my features because I'm naturally round. So I like longer hair, straighter hair, because it's opposite from round, which will automatically make you look elongated. I like a long throw or sweater because it'll make me look longer as opposed to wider. If you have a narrow body, puffer jackets look beautiful on you. Short, cropped puffer jacket, beautiful. But because I am already naturally round, a puffer jacket for me would make me feel pudgy. So a choker, just I don't think it flatters me. I might need to give this to her. Okay. I'm ready. I'm smelling like Twilly. I smell amazing. <laughs> I smell amazing. So let's go. Yo, so we've talked about this, but let's recap again. We are getting dressed for ourselves. We are smelling good for ourselves. We are getting glam for whom? Ourselves. Because we are not waiting for someone to match our energy. We are not waiting for something or somewhere to wear our goods. We are wearing them. We are smelling great. We are looking fabulous. Because what? It makes us feel good. Hello? Unless it don't make you feel good, then girl, do you. But the days of, oh, I'm not going to get too dressed because it's a casual event. Boo! Boo! <laughs> casual event for who? Maybe for you, but not for me. You know? The days of, oh, let me not do too much because my friends are not going to dress up. Boo! <laughs> Maybe for them, but not for me. because I look good, I feel good, I smell good, and I want to push, like I want to blow the air onto you like a potion of some sort to excite you and ignite you, ignite your fire to do you boo. It's not the do you of, oh, you know, you think you're better. It's the do you in the sense of, let me, let, you know, you do what is going to make you happy. And if it bruises someone's toenail, that has nothing to do with you. It's not even like, who cares? Some of you asked about this case. This is Amazon. I'll link it below, okay? I smell so good. I drenched myself in Twilly. Hopefully no one chokes. <laughs> but if they do, that's okay too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, I'm just really feeling myself. I, I keep on doing this because I wish my nails were long. <laughs> but when I got things to do, I can't do the long nails. I need to be able to type and edit and all of this. I don't have time to be going like this. Like, the scissor hand is not going to happen, okay? So yeah. I'm excited about this event. I do need a, I do need a new bra. You know, the, the titties is doing something real special today. <laughs> but uh, I wouldn't mind a new brassiere. You feel what I'm saying? So, 
Ew. There's an evening part of this event tonight. It's an hour from me, number one. And I don't have childcare, and my husband gets home late today, so I'm not going to be able to go. And that's okay. It's far, okay? It's just not going to work out. But I am excited about this. I need to go to the post office so badly. My post office, I'm sure they hate me because <laughs> I haven't been there in a week, over a week, and I know the packages are to the brim, and they they called me and everything, left a message. I know I, it's bad. I know it's bad. So I have to go there today. I haven't had lunch yet. I've had two cheese sticks. I am a little hungry. Ooh, I'm about to be close to Bella Green. Bella Chow, Bella Chow, Chow, Chow. I always get the same thing. I know. I don't care. I am a creature of habit in some, in some forms. So now I'm tempted to go get my favorite salad, the blackened shrimp in the, in the fish is just so delicious my mom calls it extremely salty whatever she's old i love it it's so great so i may just go over there again i know <laughs> simple basic whatever we'll see or should i get something else i do want to stick to i am eating a lot lighter since i came back home i feel lighter so it feels good to not feel so heavy with all the carbs and the water retention that was happening i digress let's hear some music more oh, money, more oh, money, Charlie, and enjoyment. At the top life, we got less. Alrighty. I'm just so conflicted about this deep cool foundation. Sometimes it makes my face look like it's yellow, like too strangely yellow. Uh, but then sometimes it looks really good, so whatever. <clears throat> Here we are. Ooh. Oh, oh, I'm real tight. Excuse me, when you pull out. Don't hit my car. I'm talking to the car next to me, okay? Praise the Lord. Don't be doing that. I was going to bring my sunglasses in, but then I hate having to put my sunglasses like in my bra. It's annoying. In my bodysuit or whatever. It is really sunny out here. Let's go to this event with me at Victoria's Secret Grandma at Memorial City Mall. And I'm glad I wore just sandals. I was going to do high heels and stuff, but like, come on now. Oh, let me text the lady. She did text me to say to let her know when I get here. So let me not put my phone away quite yet. And I'm glad I redid my hair. You know, I like to look fresh, girl. I like to just be fresh, not old, not dusty, not stale, just fresh. Uh oh, hi, exclamation point. I am walking through Macy's right now, period. Well, actually the main mall doors that are next to Macy's, period. I like to use speech to text because it makes my life easier. Do you use that? Because if not, you should. It's too much sometimes to be typing or actually just a speech message. I say audio message. Yeah, speech message. I'm so annoyed. Audio message. That's also good too. Okay, but let's get there. Oh, who's calling? My mom. <laughs> my mom. Oh God, I'm about to go. Hi, mom. I'm, <laughs> I'm about to go to an event, event at Victoria's Secret. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, mall. At the mall, yeah. Oh my God, should I go into Sephora? It's not like I need anything, but you never know. I don't know. Oh my God, is that Patricia Fox? That is Patricia Fox. <gasps> oh my God, Patricia Fox. Not you on a billboard. What's it calling? On a window? This is so exciting. You better go ahead, girl. Hi, how are you doing? Welcome in. Hi. Hey, my hand is the What's your name? Mina. Mina, oh, nice to meet you, Mina. Are you here for an appointment? I guess. Yes. Yes, for the yes. event? Yes. Okay, all right. I didn't know if it was an appointment. After the show, can I? Okay. Hi, I have an appointment for the oh, event. So they, okay, come yes, on. please. Walk you over here. Thank you. What's your name? Mina. Mina. Uh huh. It's busy. <laughs> That's fine. I'll just wait. I'm Miss Mina here. Hi. Good. How about you? I'm doing well. Thank you. What's your name? Mina. M-E-N-A. My name is Teresa. Hi. Are you here for the event? Yes, I am. Yay. We're gonna have some fun. Ready? I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so, Gloria. Hi, 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 Gloria.
Minna, M-E-N-A. Okay. 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 She's going to get you measured. Okay. okay. Find the most amazing new bras you're going to love them. And then you're going to get it personalized. Ooh, okay. Okay, good. Okay. 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 Okay.
I don't wear panties. You can wear panties. But, no, but I'll take it today. Okay. <laughs> when I when I did, I wore thong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got home in the pandemic, right? I was working from home and I wasn't really going places and I do videos and things like that. So whenever I'm recording a video, I'm just going to record from the top up. So on the bottom, I might put like a little wrap on or whatever. And I'm thinking, well, why am I going to wear underwear besides? When you have a big booty, like me, uh, it just gets a little bit of wedgie style. And whenever I do wear the thong, anyway, this is like a lot of TMI. No, that's, I love it. Okay, really so, whenever, just in there. <laughs> so whenever I would wear the thong anyway, okay. I never really let it like go inside my crack. Yeah. I just let it hang on the outside. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, you know. so my thing was like, why am I wasting my time with all these underwear? Just It just is uncomfortable. So I said, you know what, why if I just don't wear it? I'm at home anyway, and I'll put on like a loose outfit, whatever. And literally, We've been in the pants yes. for three years now, two and a half, whatever years. I've not. It is good cold for down there too. Uh, a yeah, of a lot of air, a lot of air, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of breeze. You went in already. I thank you. You do too. Oh, I can't wait to hear about this. Oh, I know, girl. You're gonna love. You're gonna love the bra. It's so comfy. This is the one that I love. It's so good. This bra, so praise the Lord. Hey, what up? Did she leave? No, I have, no, no, no. I want you to go pay because I got three more bras because they give you a gift card. You smell nice. Did you smell nice too? Is that a this is Hermes Twilly? I got it in Paris. It smells amazing. You got it. Listen, listen, your makeup looks great. Is today content day? Oh, okay. Well, it was supposed to be Friday, but then I rescheduled. Okay. So. Oh, that we were quick wearing with like blazers. And yeah, like, yeah. Like, great, not. I feel like. Yeah, like, like underneath like, that is totally in. Oh, girl, you know. Like some I'm jeans. Not so. Yeah. All right. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Thank you so much. You guys are so sweet. Yeah. Bye. We'll see you tonight. Yeah. All right. Have a good night. Or have a good day. Wait a minute. First of all, what is going on? What in the whole? Jeez, do we need to be searched and seized? What is this? Yeah, let's let's narrow down who it is. Like, is it you? Out of the store, they never cut it off. And every time I walked in and out of a store, I would, I would go off and they would. It would be Let me make so sure it's not me because I can't deal with this. That's a problem, bro. I swear. You guys are okay. good. Oh my god, this is Sorry so about embarrassing. That, you guys. Like, I'm just like, oh, <laughs> please do not be embarrassed. Take anything, I promise. Oh lord, no. <laughs> I'm like, did I? Did I? No, didn't. You're good. Okay, you thank you guys. So thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, we we apologize. Okay. Let us know thank if you. you guys can come and It's because I'm so hot. Get yeah, you too fly. That's what I it is. Okay. <laughs> See, that's it. Huh? Okay. Wait, so you when you walked in you were told that their security was gonna escort us? Really? Let me find out. What's <laughs> Let me find out I got protection to go to the core. Not me my name is Mena. Hi. Wow, so you're a security guard? Yes. I got a in real guard. life. Hold on, hold on. I got Not the bodyguard walking us to the core. I can't. This doesn't even want to smile. <laughs> He's like very serious. Now he's laughing. Okay. Wait, is the bodyguard gonna take us to Zara? You're gonna go with us to Zara? Yes. You you are? You're supposed to stay with us the whole time? Yes. <laughs> Not me laughing loudly. I cannot do this. This is very unique. Oh my god. This is a very unique situation. I feel like I I feel like I need um that's dope. But then what do you do about other influencers that come? There's two of them. That's why the guy kept looking at us. Yeah, I was wondering why he was. Okay. I thought he was flirting with me. I was like, "Oh." Uh, <laughs> 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 Not the professionalism. This is very unique. I've never had this experience before. Girl, what time is it? Bodyguard. Oh, did 
Did you hear the bodyguard? Did you hear our bodyguard speaking? Yeah. I'm saying our because this is for us. Did you hear him talking? We didn't get your name, sir. That's rude. We're calling you bodyguard. Anthony. Yes, Mr. Anthony. His name is Anthony. Ebony Wood. It's, and it's Ebony Wood. When yeah, I found Ebony it, I was like, oh, it's right okay, there. let me smell it because it is very popular. Let's go smell Ebony Wood. Never smelled it before, but I know that it's pop. Ooh, they have Amalfi Sunray Fleur de Patchouli. Let me put you down. Let's smell Ebony Wood. Do not open. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I can dig it. I can dig it. I can dig it. Tuberose. Ooh, Vitifer. This is Ebony Wood. This is Vitifer Pumple Mousse. Mmm. No. Hmm. Patchouli. I like this. One time I went and did Red vanilla? Too. Fleur de patchouli. Mm -mm -mm. So good. All right, I'm gonna get Fleur de patchouli. So good. Listen, it's us with our security detail holding our bags for me. I am Mina, the celebrity, and this is my security detail. And he's holding all of our bags. And I'm just practicing for my debut to be a star. Just practicing. Okay, Carmen's gonna give me a ride, and I have to go home. I have to go in yeah, carpool. Ooh, right out here. Look at the brown, brown sugar bag. Why? Because like, I need detail I, to I, go I, throw I, the trash I, out. <laughs> like, I need detail? Wait, hold on. Hold on, you guys. Let me. Where you right at? Right here. Straight ahead. Oh. Straight ahead. I see it. Not the navigation. Not the in person navigation giving us the wrong directions. I apologize for my car. Where? Oh, you giving us the bins, though. It's the best. Let me get my bags before I before you try to steal my stuff. stuff. I got a lot of stuff in my car, so. so. Yes. Thank you so much. Sorry, I have a ton of. Girl, praise the Lord. What is going on? Is that your hair or what? My hair or what? Yes, it's my hair. What's the problem? It looks kind of weird. It looks kind of weird. I think. Because you have to take it off. Yes, I had to take off my hair. I had to. What's yeah. wrong with that? Now your head looks poor. <laughs> What's wrong with that? That's easier about my what? About my hair? Yeah. You have to ask her first if you can take off your hair. <laughs> I'm not going to ask Siri if I can take off my hair. See, are you even serious right now? Oh, that feels so good to take this off. Let my hair breathe. Oh my god, so I got a phone call from Centerpoint Energy and I almost didn't answer it. Thank god I did answer it because it was an automated message telling me that the power would be turned off until one something. It is 11.30 and that it was because of some maintenance one one day and BB and I'm just like, excuse me, what? So I'm here on my computer and about to edit. And then everything just went off. Everything just went off. This is so nostalgic of last year snowstorm. I thank God that Nia is not here because he still has remnants of that trauma. He was very afraid. Thank God it's not freezing. It's going to be 72 today. Part of me wonders if I should just go take a nap. It's eerie to hear the ringing sound of nothing. You know the ringing sound where there's nothing on? As if my ears are ringing, but it's I don't, it, nothing's ringing, you know? I, I can hear a ringing. That eerie sound of nothing. 
you don't hear the HVAC system, nothing. It's scary. I wish they would have given us more lead time on this power outage because my phone is only on what well, a half percent and that's not enough time and in 2022 who wants to be without phone what battery life okay i have this i have this power bank i have two different ones i have the apple magsafe and then i have this I'm gonna just use this one. It is fully charged, praise the Lord. So let me charge my phone with this. Dang it, I was about to make lunch, but I can't without power. Wait, is power? No, wait. Oh, wait, okay. Ah, I need the microwave to warm my food. And the microwave uses power. Okay, so I have to order food. Yo, this is like... That was my grocery delivery. Jesus. Why isn't this working? Okay. I had to flip it. I gotta preserve all my, oh my God. No power means no Wi-Fi. No power means no Wi-Fi. This is sick. You have no choice but to read, sleep, or I haven't even showered today. <laughs> I need to wash my hair. You know, I took it down yesterday. Oh my God, I'm like not motivated to do these things because there's no power. So, and I was supposed to film, I was supposed to film, but I can't do that without the light in the bathroom. <laughs> okay, this really threw a wrench in things. And I was given 10 minutes lead time. Like what? I mean, I'm not the only one having this experiencing this inconvenience i do understand my situation is not dire however it is a little jarring like what okay i'm gonna order doordash on my phone but my service at my house isn't the greatest so i'm just stuck with this for the next hour and a half <sighs> What up, oop, what up, what up, I am, <laughs> I'm on meeting number two of three today. We had power, a power outage again for an hour and I got a late start today. I have not gotten back on my groove of getting up early, so it just threw me off. So I didn't work out today, but I am getting work done editing and now I'm on a, I'm on a meeting with Dermalogica, it just started right now. And my name is Lizzie. They're going to be lacking these barrier lipids. We're going to talk about that. And they're losing water faster. So now they can't even retain their oils, but they can't even retain the water in their skin. So it's even harder for them to feel hydrated. Difference a little closer between dry and dehydrated. And I love this little breakdown that I created for all of you. And please feel free if you need to take a picture for to remember, or you, you know, want to spinch on it. I'm perfectly okay with that. I want you to feel confident. Um, evaporating water more quickly and that's that dehydration that you can take place. All of your love, won't you love me to the morning, love me in the evening, you know what I want. All of your love, won't you hold me like I'm yours, show me that I'm yours, you know just what I want. All of your love, won't you love me like the last time, like a time was right now. Oh my god, yo. So you remember how we talked about QuickBooks and bookkeeping last time, right? I've been praying to God to send me another accountant because the accountant that we use, she's an old woman and she's so sweet, but she don't be know what's going on, okay? She don't get what I do and I just can't always be explaining to her what I do and why I paid for this and all this stuff. I just needed someone that knows what incarnation is going on. So praise the Lord, God literally sent me someone. I just had a meeting with her and I'm about to cancel the QuickBooks live bookkeeping that I was doing. It's been, what, five weeks now? They have not started my cleanup, which is a problem. Additionally, like, I don't have time to waste. So thank the Lord. This new accountant that I just going to finalize and hire today is going to get me all together. And I just thank Jehovah because it's just too much. And yes, so I just wanted to update you because in case you're thinking, oh, I'm going to go through QuickBooks Live bookkeeping because Mena does it. Not anymore. Not anymore. I'm about to send an email to get a refund because this is atrocious because I just don't have time to waste. Like, what are you doing? It's been five weeks. You're waiting on one thing. Why didn't you tell me that five weeks ago? Like, really? You just now told me you're waiting on one thing? Like, that's a problem for me. Oh, God. Yo, man. I just, I just cannot. Oh, dear God. So, 
if you were trying to start a business, honey, listen, get you a good accountant in the beginning, okay? Don't do what I did because I didn't know what I was doing, okay? Praise the Lord. It's just too much. So let me get their information and send them a message because I ain't going to do this. Y'all ain't going to be taking my money, wasting my time. I need, like, taxes are due a lot sooner if you are an S Corp versus an LLC. Like, what? <laughs> so I filed S Corp status and had no idea that taxes for escort was due faster sooner <laughs> quicker so many problems but it sounds to me like <laughs> this little lady gonna get me together because it's it's too much it's too much it's all fun and games when you over here creating content <laughs> but when you ain't got your books together and you ain't got your stuff together it's a problem honey it's a problem problem so oh, i just thank the lord listen you gotta have contacts in business i just thank god for janelle b stewart i've, I've shared her podcast before i just thank god for her because you know like i didn't even say anything and she's just like do you have an accountant do you have a bookkeeper and i'm like hmm, not really you know so it was all God. It was all God. It was all God that sent her to even ask me because I didn't think to ask her. Got to be connected. Got to network. I mean, I've known her since college, but you know, all the things. So let me, how do I contact QuickBooks? Hello? Excuse me? Mrs. Quickie? Mrs. Quickie. <laughs> Mrs. Quick? Q. Q money? I need my money back. Period. Yo, man. I underestimated how much going on vacation would put a wrench in my routine. So I was going for like seven days and it has really slowed me down. All of my, <laughs> all of my routines are just messed up. So getting up in the morning is non-existent. It has been so difficult. And I worked out once this week, which is not okay. I just want to move my body more. I feel tired. I feel really, really tired. I took a lot of days off this week. Off meaning I didn't film. Did I film this week? I did my makeup maybe once, but I didn't film the way I needed to because I just been so tired. And when I don't get up in the morning, it sets me all. It just messes me all the way up. When I don't get up as much as early as I would like, which is between four and five, then it just messes me all up. But I've been so tired and I underestimated how tired I would be and how this would affect me and my productivity. So, yes, I've gotten admin stuff done, which is good. That's always a victory. But dang, I am. I'm tired. And today I didn't get up early as I would have liked. And for that reason, I didn't work out as I had hoped or planned we had such high hopes but whatever i am really exhausted let me spray on some fragrance i sprayed alien mood glare earlier but i had something else on so let me spray it on to what i have right now i was planning on doing my hair like i wanted my hair i was gonna film my hair real i'm putting some oil on my feet because the last thing i need to be is in public with ashy feet that is disgusting to me when the back of someone's feet is on, ooh, i just get so upset i get upset for the person i get upset for me having to look at it i just get upset in general what up good morning i did a wash and go for the first time in god knows when it's strange in the back because my hair is cut to layers but it was cut while you know it was blow dried not cut it wasn't a wet cut it was a blow dried cut so of course when it's wet it just looks strange. You can't see, but let's close. I need to, whatever. Don't worry about that. What okay. So, yeah, it's drying. I use the Inky List Hyaluronic Acid Serum and this Pattern Beauty Cream Curling something or other. So, I'm we'll see. Food. We'll see how it comes out. I don't know what to expect because I've never done this before. I don't do wash and goes. <clears throat> but I'm home today and I wanted to try it out. It's not something I'm used to doing to go places but who knows i might fall in love with this so we'll see i'm gonna do my nails i want to take this color off and do something else because why not it's just what i like to do and then my toes need to be done again I like when my nails grow out so they need to be trimmed and then i just want to change the color so i'm gonna do that right now too real. baby listen to me here's the deal when you're not here i'm not the same i'm needing a new chapter babe been stuck here in a bed for days i've been staring at the telephone cause when you're gone i miss your face late o'clock 
what up good morning i haven't been filming for the past several days because i don't i haven't really felt like it but here we are good morning i did work out this morning i almost said something different but i did work out i did work out this morning it is a gloomy day so we don't have any warmth to the video today i'm looking very gray my pompas from boots is still going strong I am looking slim in the face and I am loving every bit of it. I have been really going hard with eating fewer calories, making better choices, not, excuse me, not eating all the daggone time. And yes, yeah, so I just filmed this video. I did it in my pajamas. It feels comfy and cozy, but still cute. These pajamas are a target. I'll make it another coffee because I feel like it. I feel so good that I worked out already. Having already worked out before sunrise makes me happy because once I start my day, and I think I'm going to be working out. It just doesn't work for me. You have to, I've learned that I had to understand when my when I perform best, when I work best. And that is working out before sunrise, that is filming, starting at nine with my filming and finishing all heavy duty stuff by 12. Because once I eat lunch, I don't have the energy to be doing heavy duty stuff. You know, the food sets, I'm feeling very relaxed and I don't have the energy to be doing all this stuff. So then after that, after lunch is when I will do light, light admin type things like email whatever that's something that i can do sedentarily is that a word sedentarily i know sedentary is a word sedentarily sitting down okay but i know filming is sitting down but you get what i'm saying not filming because filming requires energy i'm talking i'm engaging type it on the computer i can do that with a mean face <laughs> and you would never know okay so praise the lord my coffee is done Let's get that. It's such a gloomy day today. I hope that you enjoyed my Dubai vlog. I'm working on editing part two. I'm sure by the time you see this, you would have already seen part two. <sighs> what else? I mean, I'm feeling lighter, which makes me happy. I don't want to feel heavy. I don't want to be heavy. I mean, recently realized my body type. I believe it's the endomorph and... The fact that my body doesn't respond well to carbs. I cannot be following other people who be eating this stuff and then, oh, just on the weekends. Oh, just whatever. Like the answer is no. I know, I know now what I'm going to have to deal with should I eat carbs. So it's not going to be a surprise if my ankles are swollen or my hands and my lips or my face are swollen or something like that. It's no longer a surprise. I'm more so expecting it and it's uncomfortable. So that alone motivates me not to do it. Now, what I have decided is on some vacation trips, I'm just going to prepare myself to enjoy the food and then eat the carbs and deal with it later. But that might not always be feasible on every trip. That might not, not always be desirable either so I'm gonna just take it a day at a time but when I'm home when I'm home I'm maintain this keto ah, I messed myself up <laughs> I'm maintaining the keto because it just makes me feel better, look better, all of the entire things. So that's what's going on there. I really need to do one more video. What's my watch? I don't have my watch on. It's 11.32. I really need to just do one more video. That'll make two videos today. I would have liked to do three, but I had an important phone call with my girlfriend earlier and we hadn't, we don't talk very much. Listen, when you are busy, you don't talk very much to your girlfriends. At least not in my life. And I'm okay with that. So we hadn't talked in a while and I just knew we needed to just talk. So I didn't start filming until, what was it, like 10? So uh, I would have liked to do three videos, but I'm going to just do one more and make it two today. And I did film yesterday. So that's three videos. This is YouTube videos. Three videos this week, which is really great. And then I'll go on from there. I'm set up right now in the living room. <sighs> I'm going to take it down. Yeah, I'm going to take it down today. That's enough. Because I normally keep my camera, now that I'm doing more lifestyle content, like filming in my bathroom and all over the house, I keep the camera just around. I keep it in the bathroom usually, and then I move it around as needed. But the table with all of my stuff is over there. So that's what I'm going to move. I hate stuff just being everywhere. I'm doing laundry, which is ugh, just a daily thing, man. It never stops. It never stops. I mean, how often do you do laundry? I used to hate the idea of doing laundry every day when my husband and I first got married because I was like, excuse me, this is terrible. I mean, I grew up going to the laundromat and you had to lug all your three weeks of laundry, two weeks of laundry, and there were four kids, three kids, and my mom, and I was the one that had to go. 
Okay. And it was a lot. So I just always knew, even though I had a laundry, laundry machine in the house, it wasn't an all the, all the time type thing, especially because of the electricity bill. Well, because of the way our life is and just sports and work and bed sheets and all the things we're literally doing laundry every day because I'm not sitting there on a Saturday for six hours doing laundry. I'm just not doing that. So in the house with the family, we just do a load all the time. It's just rotating. It just is constantly rotating. It's insane. I used to, it used to bother me so much because I know that for electricity, it's better you just spend one whole day and do it versus doing it every day. But honestly, I said, forget this. I'm tired. I'm tired. We have average billing. It just averages out. It's atrocious. You have air conditioning. You have laundry. I'm like, whatever. It just is what it is at this point. So we've been doing laundry every day for years and whatever. <laughs> so I did my whites yesterday. I have something to do my colors. My colors are obviously the largest load of laundry and my husband is so good he does his own laundry because honey his, he does laundry better than I do he <laughs> when we first got together and I did his laundry he's like no ma'am thank you very much I appreciate it but I'll do my own he's very good at laundry like he he keeps things he can keep things for a very long time he has stuff from college and they still are in good condition me and my my day I didn't know I tonight I just put foundation a foundation I just put a detergent on it and I just turn it on I'm like I'm not even looking at delicate and and damp dry and all of this girl I'm just putting it in okay and when it come out it come out <laughs> yo yo good is it morning yep it's morning oh my gosh so I worked out today thank the Lord I'm about to oh, I gotta turn my heater on my hands are so cold I'm cold. Let me turn, you know what no I'm about to go on IG live and I always get hot so let me not turn that house heat on because then I will be sweating and I hate that like I don't want my armpits all wet and I can't have noise in the background okay so let me check my email for today's live if so I'm gonna continue on with the 2022 Sephora squad ah, so I'm excited and in this live, we are going to, ooh, let me fix my wig. In this live, we are going to talk about the application tips. I'm gonna announce my, let me close this. Oh, I have my intuma on the bottom. You know how that go, baby. You know me. I'm gonna wear my intuma all the time, every day. Oh, let me put this down. I'm gonna wear my intuma, okay? That's just what I live in, praise the Lord. So uh, yeah, we're gonna announce that. I'm about to put on my press on nails real fast. And let me get back to you. Hey, hey. Here we are. Oh, okay, good, I can see it. Okay, okay, awesome. Yeah, all right, all right, bye. Oh, okay, so oh, that was like a little bit concerning because I was trying to get on the live and then my ear, ear pods, it'll automatically pick up my all my devices. So I got nervous real fast because I couldn't hear anything on the phone. It was like so annoying, but let me turn my Bluetooth back on on the computer and I'm about to go live with Sephora Squad on the Sephora's, uh, what to call it, Sephora's IG. And, ooh, come on video. I got reels playing, you know, automatically. And I'm almost done putting on my nails. So these are the press on nails that I have right now. You can't even see them well. They look nice and nude and great. Not too long, should be really cute. Never cut it right. Oh my god that was so good ah! so I was, on a, I was on a live with Lindsay from the squad <clears throat> and Carla who's on the Sephora social team looking at something and that was so good it was so conversational I I did air out my armpits before we started so I wasn't too sweaty <laughs> And uh, thank God nobody was calling me because <laughs> I didn't uh, I didn't want to put my phone on airplane mode and then that messed up my Wi-Fi. I didn't want any issues. So I left it on and thank God nobody called me. Nobody was texting, calling me, texting me. That was so nice. Oh my God. Does Carla have her own social? I need to find her because I can't do this. My armpits did air out a little bit, but girl, I need more. Ooh. And we all had on white. That was so cute. You know, I just love a good white. You know, it's easy. Don't need to think too much about it. Girl, you need a fan. I mean, it's about to be summertime. And you might actually live in a summer, a, a 365 summer area. 
but you need a fan okay i'll be using this fan to, to dry down my setting spray i'll be using this fan to drive down my body <laughs> You need a fan out in public, you know what I'm saying? If it's hot, here you go. Like, you don't need your makeup dripping down your face. It's a, it's an atrocity, so get a fan. And now I'm using it because, clearly, being so overly excited, my armpits are sweating. I'm not the only one that sweats with excitement. <sighs> Carmel is just going... Oh, now she's low! Hey! Hey! hey. 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 hey.